the Kershaw Buck Buckshaw Kerbuck uh Hello everyone, welcome back. Nash Rathbone here again. Um, the other day I was in my local branch of Fastech when I came across this and I thought to myself that does look interesting. I'll have to grab one and review it, see what the guys think. So what have I got here exactly? Well it's the very excitingly named Buck X44. Wow. Tell you what, Let's get it out. There we go. A little bit of cellophane. Look at that. Awesome. Yeah, and I know you've seen it before because it was in my uh, um, Kershaw Shuffle clone video. But now you can look at it properly, guys. That's uh, quite a nice looking knife, actually. Alright, let's take a closer look. Okay, so how nice is this? Look at that! What's it like on the other side? Tell you what, there's a nice bit of wood going on there. Wow, it is nice. And I've just found out it's got a nice sharp point going on there as well. Wow, I do like that. Hmm. Okay. So here we have a little bit of deja vu from my Kershaw Shuffle clone review. Got the swage, the hollow grind going on, and uh, the edge there. And things start to change around about here when we run into wood scales. And they look quite nice. You can see there's a um, very stylish torx screw there. The wood grain is very nice, I quite like that. And then we get to the bottle opener. Uh, we've got two screws missing here. They, they don't fit them on this particular uh, knife. There's a little torx screw there. And then we have the screwdriver stroke lanyard loop. What's the finish like? It's not. There's a little bit of um, something going on there. There's been no attempt to uh, clean that up. This is all nicely finished though. What about on the inside of it? Yeah, that's just uh, as it was stamped out. Look, and you can see the very thick liners. Uh, in fact, the lock is more of a uh, um, frame lock than a liner lock. Bit of a hybrid by the looks of it. Lock up there is quite good, I would have said. 20 to 30% maybe. Not bad at all, really. Hello. Hang on. I'll show, I'll show you something in a minute. Let's just check the uh, blade centering here. Well, that's not bad. Anyway, check out the, uh, there's a nylon washer there of the correct size. However, that box must have been emptied because on the other side, we have an almighty great big nylon washer. Look at that. What on earth? As I say, they must have run out. And then we have the um, stop pin. Not very well. It's not closed up properly. That's obviously due to the uh, washers, I should say. Wood grain is nice, I like that. All right then. Now, unlike um, the Kershaw Shuffle, there's no pocket clip with this. It did come with a little, sort of like a chain type thing, but I've taken that off. Um, and it's reasonable quality. It weighs in at now let's move over here a second and I shall introduce this and then you can see how much it actually weighs 
Okay. Yes, I quite like the um, the build of it. It's quite nice, and it uh, locks open. Uh, there's no looseness with the thumb stud. It's only got one thumb stud. There we go. Okay, here's the single thumb stud. It's not about to come loose anytime shortly because it has been peened over at the back. So that'll take some uh, loosening off then. Okay, I guess while we're here then, we might as well get the uh, vernier calipers in here and have a look at the blade. Oops, not that bit, the blade. Hang on. Blade thickness. Let's have a look. 3 mil then. Okay, let's take a look at a few dimensions for you lot. And we're looking at an overall length of roughly about 145. My blade measurement on this is about 56 millimeters to the frame. And the cutting edge on that around about 56 right um so how wide is this thing so we can get a look in there because it's quite wide with these wooden scales about 14 and a half mil I would have said hang on there you go and what about a few size comparisons okay first up Hey, the old Kershaw Shuffle clone. There we go. More or less the same size. Um, if you turn it over, you can see the pocket clip, which we don't have on the X44. And let's take a look at my Spyderco UK PK clone again a lot bigger but legal UK carry because it doesn't lock this locks all right so let's get the uh, bits of bag over here and we'll see what it can chop up now I paid four pound seventy something for mine and it is still on Fastec for four pounds 75 I think so you wouldn't expect too much from this blade would you well I've got the bits bag let's have a look okay let's see what it'll cut up then shall we start with a sheet of paper see if it'll touch that yeah kind of if I can get it to do it hang on there we go so it's not too bad then I had a better technique possibly well yeah all right then <laughs> got some cardboard let's try that see what happens oh it likes that better look okay um the old garden twine again let's try that shouldn't have too much bother with that not really, didn't think so somehow. Um, hmm, getting low on rope, look. Let's give it a go with some rope. One, two, oh, three. Um, there's the old thin package strapping. It takes the corner off of that, look. And we'll try chopping through it. Yep, it's easy enough, isn't it, with that stuff? And where's the thicker stuff escaping to? There it comes. Let's get it out. There we are. Right. In. Mm hmm. Not doing too bad. Let's fold it up. Oops. Getting short on this as well. I have to get some more. Okay. Yep. That was good. Um, Labrador strength dog lead, which we're getting low on, very as well. 
So I'll have to, let's just try the uh, little small bit, shall we? If I can keep hold of it. Yeah. So there we go on that one then. Right. <clears throat> what do we got here then? A whole load of stuff's coming out. Something's going on the floor. Yeah, it's um, pipe and zip ties going all over the floor. Here's a small zip tie. Yep. Medium size zip tie. Doing a loop. Try that one. Yeah, likes that, but not the paper. All right, now where's the big, big? Uh, here we are. There's a large zip tie offcut. We'll try a bit of that. Oops. Nine. One. Two. Right. Um, let's just try a little bit of pipe, shall we? Which I'm going to get off the floor. There we are, off the floor, so it doesn't get lost. See if it cuts through that all right. Yeah, it sort of flattened it a little bit, but it's cut through it. Look. Hmm. Good. Okay then. Okay then, so we have this screw here, and it's a very nice fit, so let's try it. First we're going to need a hole, so we'll just get the old um, awl in there, drop the screw in, and see what happens. All oh, right. It's a bit wobbly at first. It's going. It's getting a bit tight now, getting a bit more of effort required. But I think that oh, that'll do. So how did the tip fare then? I think there's a bit of paint from the screw. I can't see much damage, can you? Hmm. Right then. The Buck X44, or maybe the Kerr Buckshaw X44 shuffle. Who knows? I think even the knife's confused as to what it is. It's, I think it's a nice knife, actually. It's quite uh, solidly constructed uh, with a apparently 440C stainless steel blade. We've got um, stainless steel liners or frames, whichever way you want to look at it, because they are quite thick. Uh, you've got very nice wood scales on there. I do like the, uh, especially on this side, that's, that's rather nice, is that? It's very nice. I, I, <laughs> I quite like the knife, actually. It's not bad. £4.75 I paid for it. From uh, Fastec, um, it's quite clearly not a buck, and it's quite clearly not made in the USA. But who cares? I like it, and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, looking at it too. Right then, um, if you did enjoy it, uh, you can uh, subscribe if you like. I'd like that. That'd be handy for me if you'd just like to subscribe. You can also click like. Um, you can share it with your friends, um, see what they think, see if they like it too. I know I do. And um, yeah, so there we go. Another knife review from Rathbone Manor. I hope you enjoyed it. You can uh, follow me on Instagram too. And um, well, I'll tell you what I'll have to do. I'll have to invite you over here again the next time I get a nice little knife and we'll take a look at it together. All right? Okay, guys. So I'm just wrapping this up, packing everything away when the postman comes and Mrs. Rathbone has brought me not one package, but two packages. 
All right, there's a box in here. So what have I got then? Well, unfortunately, guys, you're going to have to wait and find out. Ha <laughs> ha. See you later, guys.